Everyone, happy 4th of July or Independence Day. And a lot of people have been taking it out to South Padre Island. Check this out. Tents all around the uh, the coastal area there, South Padre Island. We've also seen Beach Patrol going down, uh, up and down the line there at South Padre. So hopefully uh, they're f uh, following all of those restrictions uh, at the coast. But check this out. As Chief Sean Snyder mentioned in the, the before the break, winds are pretty gusty right now. Harlingen gusts up to 24 miles per hour. Edinburgh is at 22. We're seeing sustained winds from 14 to 20 miles per hour across the region. So those winds will die down through the overnight hours and into the evening also. So uh, fireworks do look, uh, it looks kind of good for the fireworks tonight. Actual temperatures right now, 106 in Rio Grande City. It's 98 now in McAllen, 95 Harlingen and 83 at South Padre Island. Feel like temperatures with the humidity. It feels more like 110 in Rio Grande City, 100 McAllen, 99 in Wessel, 102 in Harlingen. And it could feel even hotter tomorrow. Let's take a look at satellite and radar. You see that it's pretty clear out there, and that's because there's a big ridge of high pressure over the southern United States. That's why we're seeing very hot conditions here in the valley. Overnight tonight, we expect those temperatures to drop only into the mid and upper 70s, 80 degrees at South Padre Island. Those are your overnight low temperatures. Clear skies, so hopefully we could see that uh, lunar eclipse. We'll talk about that in just a bit, but for tomorrow, we're expecting temperatures back in the triple digits. It could be hotter than it was today, 108 your maximum temperature there at Rio Grande City, 102 for McAllen, 100 for Wessico, Harlingen, and Raymondville. Again, we could see heat index values between 106 and 112 tomorrow. And in addition to all that, it's just not really good conditions outdoors. We're going to see mosquito activity pretty high the next few days across the Valley Extreme all the way through Tuesday. So just keep that in mind if you have any outdoor plans this evening and for the rest of this week. Air quality today is in the moderate category, but definitely We've got to watch for that tonight as we see a lot of smoke from the fireworks. So air quality could drop temporarily, but we expect moderate air conditions from now until Tuesday. And here's the Saharan dust. We see biggest plume in the central Atlantic right now. That's kind of helping uh, to prevent any tropical cyclone development in the Atlantic, also in the Gulf of Mexico. But we don't see much activity in the Gulf of Mexico. And all that Saharan dust continues to move off towards the west, entering the Caribbean Sea by Friday. So it looks... Uh, pretty good the next uh, few days for us here in deep south texas tropical update seeing uh, that we're tracking a little system but notice how there's not much activity in the central atlantic right now and again that's probably because of all the saharan dust that we're expecting uh, over that area the next few days and then also we're seeing some development here in the northern atlantic and that's Tropical Depression vibe. It formed today. Winds of 35 miles per hour with that system. It's getting near Bermuda. It's going to move into that area uh, through tonight and early tomorrow morning. Winds up to 40 miles per hour. It could be a tropical storm by then, but then it continues off towards the northeast. Doesn't impact, impact many people up in the northern Atlantic. Let's take a look at rain chances for us here in the valley. The next seven days, only a 20% chance of rain for Tuesday. We drop down to 10% for Wednesday. Then it's dry again Thursday, Friday, and for Saturday. So for tonight, we're looking at a full moon, but it's a partial lunar eclipse, so the Earth's shadow is going to be casted on the moon, and we could see a little bit of red there on the moon, so it's going to be a little dimmer than it, it usually is for a full moon. Temperatures tonight around 77 degrees, and here's a look at your first warm five AccuWeather seven-day forecast. It's going to be hot the next seven days, just a slight chance of showers for Tuesday and Wednesday. That's a complete look at your first warm five AccuWeather seven-day forecast.